So Florida State has hired their new offensive coordinator. They are bringing the Gus Bus to Tallahassee, people. Gus Marzahn is stepping down. He is resigning as the head coach of UCF football to take this offensive coordinator job to try to get the Seminoles offense back on track in 2025. And just being honest with you guys, this was probably the worst hire Florida State could have made to fill their offensive coordinator vacancy because Gus Malzahn does not have a good track record of being able to develop quarterbacks. This season alone, UCF threw out four quarterbacks this year. K.J. Jefferson was a solid quarterback at Arkansas. You would have thought that him going to UCF would have made them a dark horse Big 12 title contender. Instead, they've been the doormat of that conference this year. Not only is Gus Monzon not good at developing quarterbacks, but he also has given up play calling several times. You know, at Auburn, you remember when he gave up play calling duties to hire Chad Morris as his offensive coordinator? That did not go well. That's one of the final moves that eventually got him pushed out of Auburn. He runs an offense that is heavily dependent on RPOs and read options, which requires you to have a super athletic quarterback. And more times than not, you're not going to find a quarterback that not only is a good athlete for Gus Marzahn's system, but also somebody that's a really prolific passer. So Florida State, to me, they made a massive mistake hiring Gus Marzahn as OC. If you would have hired Dan Mullen or you would have hired the offensive coordinator for Boise State or stole somebody from the Kyle Shanahan, Sean McVay coaching tree. That would have been a good move. But hiring Gus Marzahn, who has called plays at his last couple of stops and has ultimately not really had a lot of success because of his play calling, just made no sense at all to me. And another thing about Gus Marzahn is that I keep reading that he's a good recruiter. If he's a good recruiter, how is Hugh Freeze having more success on the recruiting trail than what Gus Marzahn ever had at Auburn. He didn't really do that good of a job recruiting at Auburn. No way how you try to spend this hire makes it good. He can be an upgrade from the guys that you had calling the plays last year, but that's not really saying much. That's like me saying, okay, I may stink because I didn't take a shower, but I won't stink as bad tomorrow after I wake up. You, you know, you still stink regardless. You just don't stink as bad. And that's the situation that Florida State is in. You're basically saying that this guy who hasn't really had a lot of success calling plays as a head coach his last couple of stops all of a sudden is going to pick up the pieces and leave Florida State back to glory. The best year Gus Malzahn had calling plays at Auburn was the year they had Cam Newton. And the reason why you can't give Gus Malzahn credit for the success they had that year with Cam Newton is because Cam Newton was freaking Superman. Look what happened the year after Cam Newton left. They were awful. Gene Chizik is one of the worst national championship winning coaches in the history of college football. And when Gus Marzahn got the Auburn job, yeah, he started out really hot. You know, he went to a BCS national championship with Nick Marshall at quarterback. But when has a quarterback under Gus Marzahn ever developed into an NFL caliber QB? The best quarterback that he has ever developed was Jared Stidham. And he was somebody that he got from the transfer portal. Look at what happened with Bo Nix. When Bo Nix left Gus Marzahn in Auburn, he went to Oregon, got coached up by... Kenny Dillingham, the current head coach at Arizona State that has turned around that program, has them most likely headed to the Big 12 title game. Will Stein is also going to be a future head coach. And Dan Lanning is one of the best head coaches in all of college football. When you get good coaching, it elevates you. It prepares you for the NFL. Bo Nix was an average quarterback when he was at Auburn. When he transferred to Oregon, the expectations were not too high. Bo Nix had one of the greatest career turnarounds that we might ever see in college football because he left a poorly coached situation and went to a better one and elevated. And look where it got him. Drafted in the first round of the NFL draft. He's having a lot of success with the Denver Broncos right now. That shows you that Gus Marzahn is not a good play caller. He's not a good coordinator. If Gus Marzahn 
is so good. Of, it's, if Gus Malzahn is so great of an offensive mind and he's going to be a good hire for Florida State, why is it that Bo Nix, the year he left Auburn, he becomes a Heisman contender right out the gate at Oregon because he received better coaching and he received better development under Dan Lanning's staff in Eugene than what he ever did at Auburn. This is going to be a hire that massively backfires in Mike Norvell's face, and it's going to be one of the final moves that leads to him getting fired.